Have you ever wanted to do something but you were not able to do it? I've always wanted to be able to dunk a basketball, but I can't dunk the ball because I lack the ability. So there's a distinction there. I want to be able to dunk, but I cannot dunk because I am unable. I lack the ability. That distinction between what we want, free will, and what we could actually do, our ability, is what we're covering today in question 13, which asks, did our first parents, Adam and Eve, did they continue in the estate wherein they were created? Our first parents, being left to the freedom of their own will, fell from the estate wherein they were created by sinning against God. Our first parents, Adam and Eve, were created in a state of sinless perfection. And in this state, they possessed free will. They had a desire to follow God, but they also possessed in them a desire to not follow God if they didn't feel like it, if they didn't want to. Uh, they also had ability, though. They had this ability to actually follow God, not just want to follow God, but actually follow God or to actually disobey God. Unfortunately, as we know from the biblical account, our first parents sinned, and sin brought about this state that we refer to as the fall. And so all of mankind is fallen because our first parents sinned in the garden. And what is the state of fallenness that we are in? Well, do we still have free will? We do still have free wills. We have liberties to choose what we want to choose and to follow who we want to follow. But what has been fallen, what has been stripped from us because of the effects of sin, we have lost our ability. Though we want, and maybe we, we say we want to choose God or we want to seek God, we, we cannot. We lack the moral capacity to actually do what God demands of us because of our sin. So the fallen state of humanity is not that we no longer have free will. We do have free will. We have the freedom to choose what we want to do. But we now do not have the ability to choose what God wants us to do. And so what we end up choosing is always for ourselves, for our own purposes, for our own ends. And that is the sad state that sin has left us and not able to follow our maker. So when you think about this question, uh, are people good? And you might be inclined to think, yes, they are good because they do nice things and they want nice things and they want to take care of each other. Uh, but in a deeper sense, are people actually good? Can they, do they have the ability to choose what is truly good, which is God and life in God? And if we are so fallen like this that we cannot seek God, what hope do we have? What hope is there if we are not able to seek God? If even when we think we're seeking God, we're actually seeking benefit for ourselves, what hope is there? And the answer is, somebody else has to initiate. Somebody has to seek us first and do something about our sin.